Welcome back everybody to another action figure accessory review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at this 118 scale fantasy weapon set. This is actually made by Locker Toys, believe it or not. This is called All-in-One Figure Set. These are recommended for ages 15 and up. These are for adult collectibles and you get about 12 pieces included in this. These are going to be for your knights. Actually, you can use for what you want, but they're more oriented by medieval kind of weapons. So this is a very cool set. Um, this is the box that it comes in. Very nice looking artwork, artwork on the front. And then we have AIA, which is all in one figures on the top. The bottom just says made in China, which is upside down. All in one on the side. Um, 118 scale fantasy weapon set. And then we have the back. Um, you can get these set in two different colors, copper and silver. In this review, I when I wanted the um, silver set, I'm not interested in the copper. So they're the same weapons, it's just a different tint. But the silver to me fits my uh, for what I like more than the copper does. Um, it says color in a box here, but it doesn't correspond with the uh, picture above it because this is the silver set. There's a UPC, and you can see here, these are produced by Locker Toys Group Limited, LockerToys.com, Hong Kong. Very cool. Open this up. So you get like this little baggie of weapons. So you get this little insert here. So one thing to know about this, you may get some in a package, which I have, have a little bow like this. So they've added this insert on how to fix that. If you receive any of your weapons that's bowed like this, it says in their words, quote, if it is bending, no worries because the material is allowed to shape. Using a hairdryer to warm it five to eight seconds, it'll be soft and then pull, pull it. That's their wording, not my reading. So basically when you have it, you just want to heat it five to eight seconds, pull it tight, and then wait for a little bit until it kind of cools down. And down the bottom here basically says waiting for a while to cool down, then it is reshaped. I haven't tried that yet, I'm just now unboxing this, but I'm sure it works if they went to the actual trouble to um, print up this insert. Do we have the back of the um, pamphlet? This is basically in a pretty, uh, pretty nice step up bag. I'm going to go ahead and get these out and we'll have some special guests helping us in this video. So I'll be right back. This will be a second for you. Okay, a special guest have arrived. These gentlemen on the Joy Toy Spear, Steel Spear set. These guys are going to help us to demonstrate the weapons that came in this set. So first off, we're going to start taking a look at some of the bladed weapons. So we have an axe, very nicely detailed. We have the uh, nice steel with the uh, wood grain. This is pretty much uh, the color scheme throughout all the weapons. So here's our first example. They look really cool with these guys. I actually bought this set to use it with my Vitruvian Hex Knight of Asperity and possibly with the Knights of Accord that I have several of. So I'm going to do a review for that guy, but he's pretty cool. i got to find him though. But you see how well this is like with these guys. I thought these guys would be a fitting example for these weapons. Alright, so I'll leave him here so you can take a look at that just a little bit longer if you would like. And we'll see what else we can get here. Um, this is one of my favorites. This hammer is wicked cool. It's flat side, spike here, spike on that side. Amazing detail. Wood grain and silver there on the bottom. You can see how this is like a little bent. But this is what they're saying if you heat it up and you pull it and it'll fix it. So here is the actual hammer in the side of the still spear figure's hand. That looks pretty awesome. 
do like that very much. That is super cool. All right, so the next thing up we have is small mace. I think it's what this is, spike ball mace. Very nice. We have this steel with the wood grain. Okay, here he is holding the uh, mace and the axe. Looks really, really cool. Alright, the next weapon up is probably going to be my second favorite after that beautiful hammer. Is this very unique looking sword. I think it looks incredible. It has a more of a redder handle than brown, but it looks very, very nice. And here we have the actual blade in the uh, trooper's hand. Looks freaking awesome. That's all I got to say, man. That just looks amazing. Very, very nice. Next up, we have another hammer. Like the Hammer Brothers from Joy Toy. This is kind of a different version. You can see we have the softer plastic is bent. But that can be corrected. We'll do that later on. Very nice detail. Very nice sculpt on this hammer. It's really cool. Here is with the other hammer. With the trooper. As you can see a comparison. I think this guy would even give Thor maybe a run for his money. What do you think? Very nice. Next up we have this broadsword. Very nicely sculpted. It's really cool. Probably have to heat this up a little bit also. But no worries. And here we can look at it inside the figure's hand. I don't know if it kind of looks like a Conan sword or, but it's actually a pretty cool, cool broad sword. Okay, our next sword is this one. It's really, really cool. Okay, here he is in our sword model's hand. That looks really amazing, even with these figures. Very, very cool. Okay, the next one is another sword. Different sculpt. Looks really cool. This one actually comes with a did they call it scalabirds? Scalabirds. Very cool. It has a metal um, design to it and like weathering. And you can see that how this has like this point here. It goes right into the center there um there's no way it really attaches um case to the figure so um i'm not sure how you would do that maybe you have to tie a string to it or something or do some kind of modification here he is with the sword in his hand that goes with the case set Looks really, really cool. And if that makes any sense, just to show you what it looks like. It is right nowhere for me to attach the case, so it's about all I can do for you guys for a demonstration. Next up, we have the <laughs> spear axe type weapon. But you can see that it is pretty well bent. I'm going to definitely have to heat this up to stretch that plastic out but it looks pretty good decent sculpt worked the other end of it doesn't look that bad and here he is kind of in his hand it's kind of so it's kind of bent i have to heat it up but that's what that would look like if uh you wanted to see it with a 118 scale figure it's 
really cool. So next we're going to move into the shield. So we have this type of shield. Nice sculpt, lots of sculpt work on there. Silvers. On the back here we have a handle. So pretty much any figure in your YT scale can hold this. It's not going to attach to the arm or anything. So that's a good thing. So it can be more universal. So that's a good thought process for the manufacturer. Okay, here he is with the uh, shield in his hand. He holds it perfectly. It looks really good with him, believe it or not. So this is kind of how it looks in the back. Front. That's really cool. So the next one we have is this shield. It has a lion on it. It's really nice. This would be perfect for your Knight of Accord, one of your knights, so you can give some, you know, diversity in your army. It's a different type of handle on the back. Here we go with the uh, soldier holding it. Looks really good. And this hand's kind of a little looser on this one, but there are tighter hands for these figures if I decide to use this shield with this figure. But all in all, it looks really, really cool. Okay, the last piece is one more shield, and it looks like this. Kind of have like a banner, I guess, molded into it. I'm not sure what they're going for there. It also has the same kind of handle as the, uh, the lion did. So a comparison here. And the fronts. Same shape. That's cool. And here is the figure with the last shield in hand. Looks pretty cool. I love his sword. <laughs> in the back of it. Got his holds onto it. Well, I guess we want to thank our uh, Steel Spear guys here for being our models for our weapons. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want to pick yourself up a set, they're still available at your online retailers. And they go for anywhere between $17.99 to $19.99 for 12 pieces. If you, you know, the sculpt don't work. It's just a little over a buck a, a, buck a piece. Over a buck a piece, I guess. I mean, so if you just have to do the math, but I think it's worth it if you want to enhance your uh, your knights or even your, as you can see here, your jewel toy figures. They're very cool. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We have many videos up and many more to come. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you guys in our next review.